Word up, folks. How we doing today? Matic, back with another one. So last episode, we got through the rest of Xenobatos and in pursuit of Zeeg, trying to stop him from destroying the third Signet Sphere since we failed with keeping him to keeping him from destroying the second Signet Sphere. We chased him into Mayfill and I got through Mayfill, kind of got worked over on a fight and then we ran to Lavitz here and that's kind of where we left off. So I kind of decided instead of continuing on forward, I want to go clean up all the side stuff before we continue on. Which means I'm going to have to do this shit again. <laughs> That's okay. Now that we know what we're doing, it doesn't really take long to get to places. So we were able to liberate the souls of the three dragons that we've come across. But we still haven't liberated the souls or freed the dragoons yet. And that's where we're headed to. We're going to Bellweb real quick. And I still have, I believe, one Stardust in Bellweb. And after I get that, I am going to go go to Rogue, visit Martel, get the item for 50 Stardust, and then we're going to do the super secret, ultra secret super boss. I really could have saved myself a lot of time by not doing the secret boss, but I mean, at this point, you kind of got to do a little bit of grinding anyway. So it would just be kind of a waste not to do it. Any good playthrough, you have to fight the secret boss. That, these Terminators, oh no, it's called a human hunter. Dang, you know, after, after farming this area for like, what would be the equivalent of 15 hours? I have never seen this human hunter thing before. But anyway, what I was getting at, they kind of look like Baldo. They creep around like Baldo, that's for sure. I don't need it. It only took like two minutes. It would take us like another like four minutes to get back to where we were. Rides the shoe puff. Right, rides the colon. I mean, coulon. Give me wings, asshole. Uh, so let's see, where are we going? City Funo? No. It's not in Dells. Spring Breath Town, Alara. I think that's nearby. Crystal Palace is probably the close, the closest that it is that you get to it. How do we go back to Rogue?
That's interesting. Can you get there from Alara? No. Oh no. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Guess I'm gonna have to find a way to get back to Alara. We need to head this way. Hi there, little squirrel. Almost kind of feel bad. This is just mean. Just blowing his back out with a 2,000 damage. That, that's just mean. That's okay, that's 24 gold in our pocket. Oh no, I gotta insert disc 3. Hopefully that didn't make any audible pops. I'll check in recording to make sure. I've noticed when I have to mess with the aspect ratio or anything for a second, it causes like an audible pop sound. Oh shit. Yeah, okay. I know where I'm going. Now I think about it, I might be doing this in the wrong direction. But you have to get the Stardust here before I can give the last Stardust to Martel. I just don't I just don't know how to get back to Rogue. The only thing I can think about is going to Fernie. That's the place I'm thinking of. The that one place where we uh, yes. took off from the boat on the Queen Fury. We'll go low later. That's for when we need to do the secret boss. The secret boss is actually in that spot just before we fought Lloyd. Right there at the uh, the Wingley's little ancient tree thingy. impressed how frequently I'm pulling that move off. Gloriano.
That's just such a weird design. Why why those colors? Bicycle ball, that's just weird. somebody leveled up but we'll never know who actually it was Miranda I can tell from the portrait is like it barely flashed for a second but uh yes yeah, rest for a little bit hopefully this will give me back my MP So a thought kind of occurred to me and on Facebook, I'm on like uh, this group for Legend of Dragoon and some people talk about on there grinding out, like the second they get an addition, they grind it out to like 99 every time or 80 or whatever. Some are crazy enough to actually go to 99 and 
it kind of makes me wonder yes. when is too much grinding too much grinding where's the line where do you where do you guys tell the line let me know in the comments I think that's a little absurd. That's kind of what I did when I was a kid. And I guess even today, I sort of overgrind, but I do it for good reasons. Like, I think throughout my entire playthrough, I've stopped to grind three times. The first time I grinded on the pirate boat for maybe what would be considered about three hours of in-game time. It wasn't long, just enough to get everybody to, like, level two Dragoon Magic, some to three. Hey, there's Shirley. Rose, visit me again, but my power is at its limit. Please save the souls of the four dragoons who were companions. Shirley, you have done well. But we have to pursue Zeke now. I will trust you to save the dragoon souls. Well, I mean, we're we can't we came here just for that rose. Man, now I think about it, this game really doesn't have a lot of side content. Getting the Soul Eater, which, mind you, wasn't even necessary. You could actually grind for the Soul Eater in Mayfill. There, but there's really very little in the way of side content in this game. Which is kind of weird for a JRPG. Other than that, this game's momentum kind of it's it consistently stays progressing at all times, which I th think is the main thing I like about it, and why I've come back to it so many times. This may be one of the last times I do in my lifetime because I have a huge bucket list I need to get through, but maybe perhaps as a commemorative thing. I would I I really like to consider this like my first major playthrough I've done on the channel. Uh oh, wait, which one should I go up first? Uh let's try the middle one. But who knows, maybe one of these days, like as like a sub goal, I'll play the Japanese version or get like a ROM hack for this one where it makes it as difficult as the Japanese version and pull my hair out. There's a small hole in the middle of the relief. This must have come off from here. And there's the final piece of stardust. This is the divine tree. Have humans worshipped the divine tree since the age of the dragon campaign? Well, I mean... That would make sense. Nothing has changed here, not even a bit. Suvale? It is such an irony that 
you who study life and death cannot die completely. Is that you, Rose? Is anything wrong? You brought a lot of guests with you. I was asked by Shirley and came to see how you were doing. How are you? How are your studies? Through the subjugation of Mayfill, I think I completely understand where life comes from and where it goes. Wingleys have been manipulating souls, namely life, from Mayfill, the place known as the Death Capital, and the Crystal Palace, known as the Life Capital. We saw in Mayfill the destination of life. The darkness opened up into hell. The world of shadows without light. That is why you cannot die completely. I don't want to go to a world of nothing spread out on the tip of darkness. I don't like nothingness. Where should I go? I'll tell you now. Ooh. That's fucking... That's scary. That... Ooh. That, like, gave me chills. Alright, Sue Vale. Uh, how do we want to do this? Do we just whoop his ass with additions? I'm gonna just whoop his ass with additions. Truly, the power of Dragoons was inside us all along. Gasplus. Well, he knows Gasplus too. He knows all the moves. And he wears kind of cool looking glasses. Zero damage. Wait, what am I doing? I should have used the psychedelic bomb. <laughs> and my other my other debuffs and nerfs and and buffs. Go ahead and speed him down. Well, that was delayed. Wing blaster. And then we'll go ahead and speed up Congo and power him up. Him nice and beefy. He's gonna be a real beefy beef boy.
You know, just to show off the move. Because I don't think we've seen the Jade Dragoon yet, or Dragon rather, his final spell. We'll show that off real quick because I almost have no reason to ever do it outside of this, so we're just gonna go ahead and do it. it it's probably not gonna do any damage to him. But I kinda figured it's it's worth it's worth showing off. I, you know, actually, this might be a good showcase for the rest of the characters as well. I might just do that. So I believe we've seen the fire one. We've seen the light one. We've seen the earth one. Obviously wind here. Holy smokes, that's dope. A lot for nothing. At least it hurt him. Oh my god, he's doing it to us now. Look at that tree. We gotta see it twice. So damn cool. For a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> Kong will just look at him like, wow, cool bro. Now not a time to mash your face with my giant ass. Jade Stone. A relatively pointless item, if I remember correctly. Somewhere in the East Country, there is this legend. Life does not come from anywhere or go anywhere. It just goes around with all other lives. It is a part of a great wheel. I can come back again? To the place with light? To the place with warm lives? <sighs> How can I tell you? But maybe ahead in the hell you saw in Mayfill, there might be a place with light waiting for you. All is up to you. Yes, it is what I have decided. Where I want to go now. I must think it through. Thank you, Rose. Let's keep going, Dart. That's what it looked like all along. We'll go ahead and replace Albert. Or Hashel. But I do need to swap out, swap, swap out, swap out equipment. Gotta swap it out. Now swap it out. Now swap it out. Now swap it out. Okay, I'll, I'll stop. Good stuff. Nobody here. It's probably Zeke's temple. Because the first one was Shirley, then there was that Sioux Vale guy, and then the other empty one, I believe, is either it's gonna be either Rose or Zeke's. 
Oh yeah, that Omni Sweep is tricky. It's not very powerful because I haven't really worked on it since he got it. I got him to his final edition with kind of the intent to not really use him the rest of the playthrough. Here too, same as the past. She is still a kid. Yes, she was 15 years old back then. She was younger than Miru. Well, I think Miru is like hundreds of years old already, right? Such kids could manage the power of Dragoons? Yes. She was born between a human and a mermaid, so that she had a special power. Rose, you were worried and came here to see me? Yes. Thank you as always. Rose, don't go anywhere. Don't leave me alone again. You now that I think about it, in that cutscene where it showed all the Dragoons dying, I don't think Damia was in there. Kind of weird food for thought. Say something. Rose, you will make me feel lonely like everybody else. No, I won't. There is nobody who bullies you like in the past anymore. We won't let them. Yes. Rose and the other Dragoons are all kind to me. But why make such a sad face? Sorry, Damia, but there is somewhere you have to go. Forgive me. Right off the bat, we just gonna show it off. single strike he's the only one that has that kind of surprised it's not more though like 175 percent thing the target damage That's so wicked. It's almost kind of unfortunate that they made these, but only to be used maybe once in the game if, if you bother to actually train. Drops a literal fucking nuke on her. God dang. Yeah, it's just really unfortunate they decided to go that route. It, it almost kind of feels like they did intend for the dragons to have more use in the game. Or as I don't see why they would make the models. And again, like I said, you, like you're not going to get that until really late game. Or unless you sat back and for, I don't know, like 15 hours just trained everybody with the with an addition that gives them over 100 SP. Then perhaps. 
you could get to use it more often, but it still seems like a bit of a waste. They even have their own actors, like voice actors. That's interesting. I wonder if they even got credited. Yep, start hitting you with a bunch of downers and uppers. She's really focusing on Congo. Why has he been dodging everything? What is Congo on? Is Congo low key awesome? Let's hit her with another Thunder Kid just for fun. Crushing her feeble little small girl mermaid bones. I wouldn't have to do the full edition for it to be devastating. She's given the big bonks, the biggest of bonks. Well, mash her into oblivion, Congo. Oh my god. Yeah, it's like having feeble little girl bones is gonna, you know, get you crushed down by the, the Congo man. Dude, I'm so glad this playthrough opened my eyes to actually how powerful Kong will truly is. Damia, everything will be fine. You won't become lonely anymore. When you go there, everybody will be waiting for you. It's true. I feel, I feel them. Are you coming, Rose? Yes, when the time has come, everybody goes there. Then I'm relieved. See you. Now let's go. Just two more. But again, now... We need to swap out another one. Get to see Miru's. Do the bandit. And you can have the armit. I don't really care.
I even got her blue dragoon armor. I mean, it was kind of pointless. The only time it would have it would have been effective would have been right during that encounter. But you know, they added stuff into the game that perhaps didn't need to be there, or at least had strange timing for being there. And this is either Zeke again, Zeke or Rose's room. They don't really give you any clue as to who it could be. Well, besides that, it's red on the top. I didn't even notice that. So that's Zeke's room. The one before it must have been Rose's. Oh, yep, yellow. So this is the, the Earth Dragoon. Part of the Congo faithful now. I hope, I hope anybody watching this that you you are as well part of the Congo faithful. Here too, same as the past. He is children. I will realize the freedom you wished. In the future, I promise to you. <coughs> Children, please watch us. Is that soul one of the Dragoons that is trapped in this world? Yes, his name is Belzac. He is the Dragoon recognized by the Golden Dragon Spirit. But what is tying him to this world? Is that you, Rose? And Zeig? No, it seems not. Who are you? It is a long story. We don't have time to tell you about it now. Yes, indeed. The subjugation of Cadessa will be soon. This last strategy has to be completed for the sake of the children who were killed by Wingleys. You haven't realized it yet. Realized what? You are... No, not only you, but everybody but me has died. Everybody has died? And that includes me? Shirley died too? It... It cannot be! I took the attack of Super Virage with my own body to be the shield for Shirley. You'll remember now. No way. I don't believe Shirley died. I don't believe it. Bow, bow. Meow, bow. Yeah, he kind of looks like he's taking a big old dumpy too. Oh, uh, she's got an attack for at least one round. But in the meantime, might as well let her do the psychedelic bomb real quick. I'm sure he's got tons of HP on him. And for some reason, we're not getting any sound. I'm sure it's for Jesus. You know what? Dragoon on Dragoon. This is these are the new Dragoons, fool. See so how the real Golden Dragon Dragoon like throws shit down, man. He's like, I look like I took a big dumpy too. Yeah.
Grand Stream. Hit us with your Grand Stream. Big damage? I don't think so. It's magic. Well, let's start by slowing them down. Oh no. I've had so much practice with that move too. I guess I really don't need to get her to Max Dragoon anyway. Kind of pointless. Reminds me the whole key up. Go. That's good luck. Now I think about it. No, I, I've I've seen her final magic before, the blue sea dragon. I feel like I had to have at some point. Epic for three thousand damage. Woo! Because she has all that freaking magic attack. It's insane. Uh, we'll give it to me. Well, that was kind of a waste. Not a big deal, though. HP recover and cure all. I mean, she does so much damage. Might as well let her do it. Getting a perfect with Kongle is almost on autopilot. That is wild. No, don't hit me ruin her little girl bones. Oh yeah, 300 damage. Damn it.
I think that's GG, ball sack. I mean, bell sack. Never mind. You got. God dang it. I was mashing. I'm over here, like, showboating. I'm like, yeah, it's over. Stone. I wish I had those sooner. Could have sold them. Now I remember all the truth. But death is not as sad as I imagined. Thank you, Rose. not sad anymore yes the surely you loved is there too let's keep going And for the last one, we're gonna check out Rose's last magic ability. Uh, where's that? There you go. Get rid of that dual crown. And we'll just, man, just throw a spiritual ring on you. Doesn't matter. Almost kind of sucks to rip her hairband off her, but I mean, if you're gonna use her, you might as well give her the best piece of equipment you can give her. Year two, same as the past. Who is it? Oh, it's you. You hate this place so much. What made you change your mind about coming here? I didn't change my mind. These dolls still make me feel nauseous. Huh? Say what you want. These are mementos to remind me of the taste of blood dripping from my fist. There is no reason to be criticized by you. The people killed by you won't be saved if they find a memento in such poor taste as their tomb. You came here to become one of these dolls. I now understand the reason why you are clinging to this world. You haven't killed enough. Then let me be satisfied with you. Dang so much different like that's a stark difference from the uh from Hashel like Hashel's about controlling your emotions in your fist and him he's just a bloodthirsty monster yeah. again we'll open up with a psychedelic bomb so she has a high the highest attack magic attack of the party I'm gonna try to make an extra spicy one for him. Ooh. Extra spicy.
Or was that? I hope that was enough to get her to 100. Oh, it wasn't. Again, I guess it doesn't matter. I still want to try. Dang, two in a row? I better be careful. She ain't gonna be able to pull it off this way. <laughs> I know I've seen this one quite a few times. Truly, it's the only move that she has that actually does direct damage to a target without trying to put some weak status effect that doesn't work on bosses, so you would, you basically never get to use them. Off your fellow Dragoon Rose. He's an asshole. He definitely deserves to go to hell. Nope. He's gotta be close though. No, my luck, he was damn, he's like bashing his head into the ground. He hated that. I was surprised when you joined the campaign by being persuaded by Shirley. But after all, it was to kill. Yes, that's right, but it wasn't the only reason. I thought the nobleness of Shirley, which I could never have, would take me somewhere I could otherwise never know. Some bright place I couldn't know. So even after death, I have been looking for that place. Nope. Lay your weary head to rest. There will be peace when you are done. Oh my god. Goodbye, Kansas. The bright place. 
the bright place. I hope you can reach there. Let's keep going. Actually, I, th I think we're done. That's the end. Benito. I do got just a little thing I want to explore before we bounce out. And it also makes sure which tower this is. I'm, I'm walking up to here just so I can know. I want to know who's, whose room is whose. Who's gonna watch it? Tell who's this one is. You can't really see it. I was gonna assume it's Shirley's. But for now, I had and bring Albert back in. I think that means we are officially done here in this place. We've liberated our old Dragoon homies and they're all resting peacefully in Mayfield, which we were told is literal hell. That's okay, because Mayfield is going to be destroyed. And I think that's an excellent place to call it for today. We are approaching Endgame. I'm, I'm guessing like three episodes. It's all around the neighborhood. Well, thanks for tuning in folks. Glad we got to lay some Dragoons to rest. And in the next one, we will try to find out how to get to Rogue. That's going to be the next one so that I can turn in that last Stardust. But again, thank you, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.